हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू स्कैन एमआरआई ब्रेन ऑन जी वन पॉइंट फाइव टेस्ला ब्रीवो ऑलरेडी आई हैव पोस्टेड वन वीडियो ऑन एमआरआई ब्रेन स्कैन बट दैट वाज इन हिंदी लैंग्वेज आफ्टर लॉट्स ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट नाउ आई एम पोस्टिंग सीरीज ऑफ ऑल द स्कैन आई ट्राई टू पोस्ट ऑल द स्कैन इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज okay so let's start we are on the entry desk first of all you have to fill up the data patient name patient id weight age sex in exam description you have to write down brain okay from here you have to select show all protocols you have to select protocol from here i have a click on the protocol Click on the brain, neck, upper. I have a kept protocol in head. Here is my protocol. Click whichever protocol you want. Click on that. Enter, accept, and start exam. I will show you whole technique in few steps only. Accept. First of all, you have to take three prime localizer. Before scanning any of the part, always you should take. history of the patient what complaints he or she is having it will give more information while scanning so first of all you have to take three pen localizer save rx scan always click on this auto scan mode because whenever you are completing all the sequence the scan will go on and on automatically so first of all we have to take three pen localizer okay then we have to scan calibration you have to run calibration first of all so double click on calibration click on any of the box coronal sag or axial you have to just calibrate this three pen localizer Save RX and scan. First of all, I will show you the protocol. What protocol you have to take in routine brain scan? Protocol is axial T2, axial flare, axial DWI, axial T1, axial gradient, sagittal T2 for corpus callosum, and coronal flare. If you need any other sequence, you have to ask to your consultant radiologist. but this is the standard protocol for routine brain scan okay so i have calibrated the three pen localizer now first of all i will plan axial t2 so double click on the sequence click on the box see one thing if you want axial t2 you have to plan on coronal and sag if you want sagittal images you have to plan on axial and coronal and if you want coronal sequence you have to plan on sagittal and axial this is the basic rule to plan any of the part okay so this is the basic basic thing you have to keep in your mind always you should keep in your mind so planning for the brain is you have to see on sagittal images okay base of the skull to vertex 20 slices spacing is 3 and slice thickness is 3 sorry slice thickness is 5 mm you have to set the spacing according to patient skull okay spacing of 3 will cover whole of the brain so base of the skull or cv junction to vertex you can say okay first of all i am planning axial t2 so you have to plan on coronal and sagittal keep this box on axial because you are planning axial t2 axial sequence so box should be on axial 
you have to just determine the this is the image and this is the box you have to keep the box in middle of the nasal septum okay or you can say sinuses the position of the patient is slightly oblique so i am c nasal septum and this sinus you have to slightly tilt the sequence because patient position is slightly oblique so okay this is the box of axial once you are you have planned the axial sequence rest you have to copy all the sequence you have to copy it is very easy so axial t2 is plan so save rx and scan our axial t2 will run now you have to simply copy all the axial sequences from axial t2 second sequence is my axial t2 flare double click on the sequence you have to click on this rx box window will open you have to select axial t2 accept this is same plan of axial t2 axial t2 flare is copied from axial t2 okay now third save rx scan is on auto mode okay now third sequence is axial dwi double click open again click on this rx this window will get open select this sequence any of the axial you can select accept see axial t2 has already came now axial dwi always reset this snr because it is it will reduce the extra noise which are is coming save rx fourth sequence axial t1 double click on the sequence click on rx take axial flare accept same sequence as copied save rx axial gri double click on the sequence click on this rx again select this same axial simply you have to force any of the sequence if you are taking axial coronal or sag you have to copy axial from axial coronal from coronal and sagittal from sagittal so i am copying again axial gr from axial t2 save rx now i am planning sagittal t2 so double click on the sequence you have to click on this coronal okay see now i am going to plan sag so you have to plan on axial and coronal okay in the starting of the video already i have told if you want axial you have to plan on sag and coronal if you want sag you have to plan on coronal and axial okay if you want coronal you have to plan on sag and axial now i am planning sagittal see first of all you have to you do one thing delete everything then keep one slice on axial okay now from this rx toolbar click on the axial box and get axial t2 in this box so i will show you how to plan corpus callosum on sag see i have this t2 one image is simply keep only one image one image is one image should pass from exactly from the corpus callosum okay now select this slice and enter 15 or 20 images you want okay this is the technique of sagittal t2 how to plan sag t2 in this way you will get exactly perfect image of corpus callosum save rx now i am going to plan coronal flare so double click on coronal click on sag or axial because i have already stored my protocol so coronal this is the box coronal coronal box so again determine this image and you have to uh, simply angulate a 
और यू कैन प्लान ऑन दिस एक्जेल ऑल्सो और यू कैन प्लान यू हैव टू प्लान ऑन एक्जेल और सैज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कवर फुल ब्रेन ओके स्पेसिंग टू पॉइंट थ्री इज नॉट कवरिंग सो आई विल एंटर थ्री दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट कवरिंग सो आई एम एंटरिंग थ्री पॉइंट फाइव स्पेसिंग दिस विल कवर होल ऑफ द ब्रेन नाउ यू हैव टू ऑब्लिक your one image should pass from this spinal cord okay this will give you a true coronal image so cover this see my one image is, is passing from this spinal cord and angulate this way okay Angular angulation for coronal flare is like this on sag, see on axial, and this box should be straight on coronal window. Okay, save RX. I will show you the images which is already produced. This is axial flare. This is axial DWI. Patient is having, I think, this is hemorrhage or glasses. Left paraventricular region already glasses is there. And right, I have to check out the GR images. Might be it is hemorrhage. No. This might be a subacute infarct. So most of the sequence has displayed. Few images are left. Only sag T2 and coronal. I will show you how images are looking. your patient is having susceptibility artifact might be tiny foreign body don't know this scan is done in brain air coil position is head first okay I will show you when the images will get display. Okay. So this is how coronal flare will look. Patient is altered. That's why that's why he is not giving proper position. And sagittal images will look like this. See, this is a spinal cord and a uh, corpus callosum in one section. I have. taken coronal dwi also for medulla so this was the brain scan on g1.5 tesla hope you will like my video i will try to post all the other scans in english language i will try my best please like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates thanks for watching